everyone welcome or welcome back to my channel today i'm gonna talk about the reading plans i have for august i'm gonna go with aurelian first because i feel like that is um this is way to go right now i finally made my character for the magical readathon this one i love it so she's studying year two of story weaver and for that i need three classes so first i need an ordinary in inscription and for that I need a book from my TBR for the end of the year. So for that one I'm gonna go with Blood of Olympus by Rick Riordan. This is book five in the Heroes of Olympus series and I really need to finish this series because the new book is coming out next month and I just I'm gonna have to read that one right away. So yeah I need to finish this series. I'm very excited. I actually don't know I'm guess it's the final battle and honestly if the next book wasn't coming out I'm not sure I would finish the series not because I don't want to but actually because I don't I don't want to be over but since we have more I'm super excited so I need to finish this and at the beginning of the year I read House of Hades and I love everyone now uh, I pretty much love almost everyone before that but yeah, the House of Hades sold me a couple of characters that I wasn't too sure about, but yeah, this is my pick. Then for my lower class, I need a Distinguished, which means I have three prompts for that. Uh, the first one is a bookseller recommendation. I actually went into a like, book shopping online and I was looking at recommendations and I found these, uh, like the hundred more recommended books of all time. Well, actually, I don't know if all, all the time, but uh, yeah, they were pretty important. So in that list, I found The Princess Bride. So I'm going to pick that one. If you don't know, I watched the movie for the first time in like January and I really liked it. So I want to read the book to see the difference between the book and the movie. That's what I'm picking for that. The second prompt is uh, clothing on the cover. So for that, I'm not really sure which one I'm going to pick, but I'm going to give you the, the two options that I'm thinking. So the first one is Marking Flesh by Anne Bishop. Uh, this is book three in the Others series, and I'm loving that series. I'm actually not sure where it's going to go, because in book two, we kind of uh, resolve a couple of things. I mean, I know that there are uh, loose threads, uh, actually pretty loose threads. Um, what I like the most about this series, besides the actual world, it's uh, the romance. It's a very nice romance slow burn romance and uh, I just feel like they're perfect for each other so yeah I, I need to continue the series and my other option could be Edenbrook I had this book for so long in my TBR actually I think it's one of the oldest books on my TBR more romance yeah it's historical romance all I know about this book is that um our main character she has a sister and because of this sister they go to this um I don't know state because she's I don't know if she's engaged or what to these men and I think he falls in love with the main character and she falls in love with him so I don't know what's gonna happen there but it, yeah it it could be any of these two choices. And to actually get my distinguished in lore, I need to read a horror book. I was not going to do that because I don't like horror books. I stay as far away as possible from horror. I don't like it. I'm scared again. I, I cannot do it and I don't want to. But this prom kind of got lucky because uh, this book arrived. Short story, I pre-ordered this book. It never arrived. I thought it was lost. Waterstone thought it was lost. So yeah, I never thought about it. And um, three days ago, it arrived. I was looking it up on Goodreads and it's it's in the horror category, kind of, in some shelves. I really hope not, but I'm gonna use this one for that prompt. I'm scared now and I really hope this is not like super horror. I don't even know if that is a thing, but okay. So this book, we have our main character, um, what's her name? Olivia Pryor and she's an orphan. Oh my, it says uh, she's missing three things, a mother, a father and a voice. Her mother vanished all at once, her father by degrees and her voice was a thing she never had to start with. Her only companions are the goals, the goals she sees and her mother's journal, which kept her a mind in turmoil. Good lord. Okay, so I know she goes to his 
family state, uh, even though they never really care for her, because of a letter. And when she arrives, no one was expecting her. So I also know there's a door. I think it's important, the door. Uh, also with B shop doors are always kind of important. So yeah, I'm gonna give this one a shot. I, I get high up, it's not too scary or anything, but yeah. Since I have it, I'm gonna use it. Then I'm going with my psionics and divination class. Uh, for that one, I need a qualified, so I have two prompts for that. The first one is a random tarot generator, uh, same symbol in the title or the cover. This is what happened. That's the car I got. So I got the high persist and the symbol I was going to use pretty much the only thing that there is in this card, uh, besides the character, and the moon. So I'm going to pick um, A Shadow in the Ember by Jennifer L. Armentrod. So this is the prequel uh, in the From Blood and Ash series. I don't think I'm going to continue with From Blood and Ash. It's going to a direction I'm not sure I'm going to like, so I'm just not going to continue, but I do want to read the prequel. Jennifer L. Armentrod has been one of my favorite authors since I was a teenager, I read the look series and I used to love it completely. So I know I like her writing, so I'm gonna give this one a shot. There is the moon, by the way. This book is about the first maiden. So um, she has always known she's gonna have to marry the primal of death. Sounds good to me. And honestly, there's something that I, I saw and it was like, again, she is not what she appears to be. So she's actually an assassin and she's gonna kill him. I don't know how that's gonna work. Uh, I know it's not gonna work because she probably falls for him. So again, it works for me. So yeah, this book is a lot of uh, the font. It's tiny. So yeah, again, I'm gonna pick this one. Why? I don't know, because I still have a lot to talk about. And then to get my qualified in psionics and divination, I need to read a book set in the future. That instantly made me thought about sci-fi, so I had a couple of options, but I'm thinking I'm going with something very new for me. So I've been hearing a lot about Biggie Chambers books. Yeah, I think I'm gonna pick one of her books. I, I really hope this one is in the future. I, it should be, but yeah, I don't know. So I'm going to go with A Song for the Wild Build. Uh, this book sounds so interesting and also it's very short, so fantastic. This book is about um, robots decide to give up on humanity, I guess. They decide to go into the wild, uh, but once in a while, one of these robots comes back to a monk and he asks the question of what does humanity need? And that answer can be a whole different things depending on who you ask. I don't know, it just sounds so interesting. So I'm gonna go with this one. I really hope this is in the future. I'm, I'm guessing, uh, but yeah, you never know. So this is my pick and that will be all the books for my Aurelium classes, but we'll still need to talk about another thing. It's my Read Your Bookshop Challenge. Uh, this is not going well, but we're gonna try to make that work. So I'm actually very late with that but I'm not gonna stress about it. So for April, I had Black Widow, haven't finished it, but there's that. For April, I had Empire of Storms. I haven't finished this. Um, I'm actually currently reading it, um, tapping it. I'm, I'm actually having a good time, so I should have kind of put this one on my TBR, but anyhow. Oh, this needed to be more longer than Black Widow, so. Yeah, I picked it, this one. For June, I needed a book with the half amount of letters as the last book. So Empire of Storms has 14 letters, so I had two choices. And of course, I went with the longer one. So I went with Obsidial. Uh, I haven't picked it up once. And then for July... Um, I needed um, a book in a different setting or, a, no, a, a different world or country. So since I do want to finish uh, Throne of Glass, so I went with Tower of Dawn. I initially I didn't thought I was going to read this book, but since I already have it, I'm going to give it a shot and we'll see what happens. 
I actually don't even have an excuse for this because I know you can read kind of simultaneously with Tower of Dawn and Part of Storms. You also can read it before, apparently. Um, but yeah, I was actually thinking about reading it after Empire of Storms. And for August, I need a book with this in the same genre. So I don't know if I'm cheating here. I, I don't think so. But there, I'm going to put The Blood of Olympus. I honestly don't think I'm cheating. <laughs> I, I just don't know if um, retelling myths um, are the same thing as this one but i'm counting these two as fantasies so yeah that's what i'm gonna go with i have all of this to catch up well actually um this i'm gonna definitely going to read it this month but the rest i don't know so again i don't want to stress myself about this the only thing that i want to do is finish these books before the end of the year i don't know in which months i'm gonna read what But yes, as long as I finish them before the end of the year, it's all good. Uh, the only thing that I do want to keep uh, in, you know, from now on is just reading the book for that month. So yeah, that's what I'm going to do. And uh, yeah, I guess that's all for my reading plans for August. Uh, let me know if you're participating in Aurelium. Let me know if you have read any of the books I show you. And have a happy reading and enjoy your rhythm if you're participating and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.